Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. It is 8.42 in the morning, you know, just woke up, but, uh, you know, I think it's a, a great time, if any, to talk about some some teasers for some upcoming sneaker releases. You know, if, if, if not now, when, you know? <laughs> so, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we got to talk about some recent links by Hanzu Ying talking about upcoming release of the Nike Air Rubber Dunks done by famous fashion brand Off-White. Yes guys, 2020 and Virgil is not slowing down. The famous American fashion designer, the CEO of Off-White, the head, the artistic director of the Louis Vuitton men's line since 2018, He's not stopping. He's literally working all the time. I, I, I very much feel the same way with me. But yeah, he's just not stopping. He's just not stopping. In 2020, he's like, you know what? Even though I've got all of that on my plate, I'm the CEO of Off-White. I'm the artistic director of the Louis Vuitton men's um, section. I'm still going to do Off-White Nike collaborations. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So far, he's done the Off-White Jordan 5s and they released on All-Star Weekend. Then we've got the rumors that the Jordan 1 Off-White Canaries were going to come out. I've got another video planned for them, some new photos that were uploaded in 2020 of them. So I might do like a 2020 Air Jordan 1 Canary preview, you know what I mean? Then apparently we might get the Cream Off-White 4s, the Bread Off-White 4s. Uh, now we've got another one that was teased to us a while ago, but there wasn't very many good images of it, right? But now with Hanzu Ying, you know, the, the great sneaker leaker, they've come through and they've delivered us some more images of the upcoming Nike Off-White Air Rubber Dunks. Now, from what I know, this is a totally new model. This isn't something that Nike has released before in the past, so it's actually not Virgil grabbing an off-white sneaker, uh, sorry, grabbing a Nike sneaker and redesigning it. He is starting from scratch. He's grabbing elements from Nike shoes from uh, like here and there, and he's made this like Frankenstein looking dunk thing. Now this thing barely resembles a dunk. I think the only thing here that is actually true to an original dunk, either the 1985 original dunk or the SB1 that came many decades later, the only thing that's true to either of those is the outsole by the looks of it the rest is like this totally new fresh design we haven't seen before so i think that's really cool i'm really happy to actually dive into it because i didn't cover the initial teaser of it so this is actually our first video on the nike air rubber dunks with off-white so i'm actually very keen to start talking about it now what i've got is three instagram posts by hanzu Ying. All of them will be linked in the description section below. So if you want to check them out individually, you can go about doing that. We've got some photos by themselves, some photos of the shoes in a nice little photo shoot, and then we've got some on foot photos. We're saving the best to last and we're going to use those ones that last, but lots and lots of photos, all the different angles. It's really, really good. I'm really, really keen to talk about this. Plus some alleged release details. Don't take those release details as solid details because it's you know it's all leaks and rumors you know nothing solid nothing solid but it, it's some estimations and uh some good guesses at a retail price so you know we can we can at least take it with a little bit of you know confidence that that could be the release details you know it could be it could be anyway so without further ado we should head over to hanzu ying's instagram and check them out but before we do that if you guys want me to cover more sneaker leaks more off-white sneakers, more dunks, if that's the case, just leave a big old like down below, maybe a comment in the comment section, and if you're feeling nice, maybe you'll give me a nice little subscribe today, if you're feeling nice. I know it's a Saturday, maybe you're feeling a bit grouchy today, totally fair enough as well. Now, now that that's out the way, let's head on over to Hanzu Ying's Instagram, and have a look at the first set of photos to do with the upcoming release of the Nike off-white air rubber dunk Woo! okay photo set number one so photo set number one it just has the photos by themselves as we can see we've got set one and two over here but we'll cover photo set number one and that just showcases the sneaker 
white background by itself very very nice now this shoe as we can see just from the outsole creeping up here on the midsole we can tell that is a dunk outsole what's interesting is we see on the midsole a visible air bubble it's 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 a it's a new take that's why i'm like wow okay so it's it's gone from normal dunk midsole uh, sorry normal dunk outsole slash midsole to dunk with a visible air bubble then we move on up to this ridiculously detailed upper it's got you know it's got details everywhere it's got so many different shapes and textures everywhere you've got these interesting little eyelets i love the eyelets they they come up to where the laces are and it's just this weird robot metal looking like strips on the side of the sneaker then you have all these different panels here on the toe box on the sides of the shoe it looks like i would say like a, is it an etnies etnies skate shoe it looks like a 90s skate shoe it just looks like it's made out of full rubber it's tough it's sturdy this looks like it's something you could skate in forever this looks invincible it looks like it would take forever to cut through this sneaker it looks like it's made of heaps of high quality materials and heaps of different just like layers you know and that's what i really like about it you can see some of the layers get exposed on the front of the toe box here with these little holes here and stuff but i really like it and i think what complements it the most and what i like about it the most are these like neon green strips on it i think it just complements and works really really well with the sneaker the best part is, is that you could do like seven different colorways of this sneaker right you could replace the neon green with hot pink uh hot orange really bright vibrant yellow you could do all of those type of colors and just replace the green with that and it would still work it would still pop really really well and look really really good i will have a look at the rest of the photos in this set here a uh, photo from the other side i really like this swoosh that looks like it's just been like slapped on the side of it like it wasn't even a nike shoe to start off with and then someone was like nah but i want the swoosh on it so then someone just slapped one on the side there I think that's sick. I think that's a really awesome idea. It's very different from how Nike usually handles its swooshes traditionally. You know, it's like with every other shoe, it's already, it's, it, it looks like it's part of the shoe. Like this, like a lot of other Virgil's uh, releases, it looks like someone's just like slapped on the swoosh. Like it wasn't meant to be there originally. And if you take off that swoosh, you would barely even be able to say that this is a Nike shoe. Like you'd barely be like, this doesn't look like a Nike shoe at all, you know? Like, it doesn't look something like a conventional Nike shoe. And that's what I think I really like about it. It's so different. Now, obviously, Classic, it's an off-white collaboration, so we're going to have the off-white text that we have on the inside there. On the back, I think it has Nike Air written on it, or at least just Nike with a swoosh. Okay, there we go. It says Nike swoosh, and then I think there's something else just underneath it. I can't exactly read what it is, but I'm hoping the other sets of photos showcase that. Oh, there we go. Nike Air. There we go. I would assume so because it had the visible air bubble, but I wasn't, you know, confident until I saw the back of it. Yeah, this is crazy. We can see it looks like it's got a suede on the back of it with this high uh, like high maintenance mesh up here that looks really utilitarian i love it this shoe is awesome i personally think this is a really cool collaboration this is the only thing that screams dunk to me is this outsole i mean it also screams jordan one to me as well but this outsole slash midsole where it creeps up a little bit here these are the only things that are screaming to me that's a dunk the upper does not look like a dunk at all it looks so foreign and i think that's why i like it it feels so fresh so new this is sick i absolutely love this sneaker i think this is absolutely crazy um it's so interesting i mean maybe it's just because the 90s is coming back into recent fashion trends not that that's hugely influencing me maybe it is in my opinions but it just looks really 90s and really sick it just looks like a sick shoe i can see heaps of people skating in this this is an awesome looking shoe i love it i absolutely love it i think it's awesome um if you notice on the tongue it says nike off it says you know nike swoosh and then off as in off white underneath it has the iconic shoelace text on there and it looks like it's using sb laces as well although it's hard to tell hard to make that call 
especially when it's not an SB collaboration, but it is on a Dunk. So it could be SB laces. It doesn't look like Air Jordan laces though. Um, yeah, the 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 mesh looks like a really, re really more like ballistic nylon, you know, kind of like the Jordan 11s in a way. Um, just like in between the gaps, it looks more like ballistic nylon than it does a, a mesh. And I think that's sick, you know, I think that's awesome. It just, I, I think it looks sick. I think it looks like an awesome sneaker. As I said, I really wish that it, um, not that the neon green is a bad color to go with for the first colorway. I hope it just comes out in like various other colorways, you know, like in like a hot pink where the neon, where neon green is, a yellow, a hot, uh, like a really light blue, um, orange, an orange would be really cool. I, I just think you, you have so much room to play around with, with the colorways of this because of how many panels are here and like what's going on and stuff like that. I feel like you could have a lot of room to release a lot of colorways of this one. I know that a lot of people will be like, well, but we don't want lots of colorways because then it'll feel like overdone and con and like, you know, the there'll be too many of them. Yeah, I feel that. But like, honestly, I wouldn't be against like five colorways of this thing. Like, I think five's a reasonable number. I don't think that's asking too much. I think that's pretty reasonable. But yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Anyway, we'll move on to the second lot of photos and have a look how it looks just in like a in like a nature photo shoot. You can see the first image down there, but it's got multiple images. So we'll move on to that one and have a look at those images in that photo shoot. Okay, so here's our second lot of photos here. It's done in like a green grassy nature shoot. It kind of just makes me feel like someone's trying to sell these on like Facebook marketplace. So these are like the, the, the iconic photo shoot they've been given. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a little bit weird but it works it's okay it's okay hopefully it'll just show us some different angles and how it looks a little bit differently but yeah i'm a huge fan of this i think it's an awesome sneaker now we get closer looks at the what i thought was very metallic looking strips it looks like a leather i assumed it was a leather but it's awesome that we get a little bit of a zoom in on the panels here and stuff like that this mesh or nylon here this ballistic nylon whatever it is that looks pretty high maintenance that looks like some pretty crazy stuff what i like about the um off-white text that they've put on the inside panels here is that it looks like it overlaps the sneaker so it, imagine the rubber dunk here without the swoosh um virtual has just put the text over the top of it and then all the different layers of materials are coming over the top of it because see how the off here is on the metal panel then it's under this ballistic mesh then it's over the top then it's under then it's over it does that under over kind of pattern it's crazy and then someone was like wait i want to make this a nike shoe and slapped on that swoosh on the side there i i love it i love it i love the little attention to detail there i think that's sick I, I personally am a big fan of this. I think this is a really cool, like different shoe. I'm glad to see him doing something that is different. It's it's an own model. It's not just a, you know, redo of already seen Nike models. Not that I ever had an issue with that. I'm just saying that it's nice to get something fresh like this, you know? It's nice. Uh, the little details like the, um, they're not D-loops, they're probably more like, I don't know, O-loops, I suppose, with the um, eyelets. So you've got two eyelets, the traditional ones at the bottom at the top, and then the center ones get given a little bit of different eyelet treatment right there. Obviously, as I mentioned before, we get the matching lace uh, laces text to the overall details here. I think it's really, really cool. I, I wouldn't want to do alternative laces. I think those laces look really, really cool. They work really, really well with the sneaker. It's just a nice looking shoe, man. It's just, it's, yeah, it's fresh. I, I would give this a fresh certification. This is, this is some fresh stuff. <laughs> um, that's all we really got to say for those photos, though. It was kind of just a photo out and about and not using a white background with them, showing you how they look in uh, more of a nature shoot type photo shoot. Now we'll move on to the third photo shoot, which itch, which is on foot. And we get to see one photo down here, thanks to how Instagram's changed its layout and stuff like that. But we'll dive in and we'll have a look at the third pack of photos for this off-white Nike Air rubber dunk. And last but not least, we have photo set number three the on foot photos and probably my favorite photo right here i reckon i'm going to use that for the thumbnail so get ready for that one fellas 
that's probably going to be the thumbnail because ooh, look at it on foot it's crazy i love it you can see all the you know i like it that it's standing out in the luscious green grass in the background there but you get the focus of this bad boy right here it's just yeah this is a sick shoe this look at that it's so big it reminds me of like some you know dc skate shoes it reminds me of some like uh is it is it etnies is it etnies i honestly can't remember how it's pronounced but like those chonky big ass skate shoes that's what it reminds me of like early 2000s 90s big chunky ass shoes this is what it reminds me of and i love it i absolutely love it it kind of reminds me of the up tempos in a way just because of how large it is like this person's obviously got a skinnier leg here right and then it's just this large shoe i love it i love it and that and that aesthetic can work for people with thinner legs or larger legs it'll work across the board fellas honestly just go for it pick this up when you can the release details from the first image was i think it was spring 2020 180 us dollars so it's rumored to come out at 188 us uh, sorry 180 us dollars look at that look at this i mean tell me you're not getting excited for this tell me that this is not getting you excited this is a crazy ass shoe i love it it's huge it's big the fat tongue it's just sick I really want it to come out in a US 16. If it doesn't come out in a US 16, I'm actually going to be hell bummed out because I always miss out on off-white Nike releases because they very rarely do big sizes, like, you know, the 16, the 17s and stuff like that. They usually only go up to a 15 and I've almost, I've like tried to cop a 15 before, seeing if I can take the insole out and seeing if it'll fit me, but I highly doubt that it would. But I'm willing to go that extra mile because I just want to try on some of them, man. I just want to see what it's like. But uh, I hope this comes out in spring in my size. Honestly, I'm, I'm hell bummed out if it doesn't. But that is a sick shoe. I love it. I think these are awesome. Initially, wasn't the biggest fan, but now I'm coming around. I've definitely come around to it. It's awesome. I love all the panels. It's really loud. It's really big but I love it. It's, it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. It kind of makes me want to just put on like a black and like satin lime green bomber. If they even exist out there, I'd have to go like thrifting and stuff to find one because this piece is crazy. This is, I love this. This, wow. I'm super keen for it. As you can tell, <laughs> I think this is an awesome release. I think it's awesome that Virgil isn't slowing down with these off-white uh, Nike collaborations. I think 2020, there's, this could be the year of his, you know, Nike Off-White collaborations. Because 2018, uh, not to, like, dunk on the women's releases, a lot of the women's releases were kind of meh. Some of them are really cool. Some of the women's releases were really cool, but it was kind of meh. Then he did the dunks, and the dunks kind of brought it back. But it really looks like 2020 is the year. Sorry, 2019, with all the 2019 Off-White Nike releases. The women's ones, the dunks. The women's ones are kind of eh, the dunks kind of cool. 20, uh, God, when did the, the 10 come out? I can't even remember now. Was it 2017? Was it 2017 or 2018? Or was it both years? I honestly can't remember. The 10 is iconic. The women's releases, eh. The dunks, they were awesome. The air rubber dunks, I love them. I love them. I'm super keen for the upcoming, you know, off-white Nike releases. I reckon, as I said, I'm going to cover the Canaries again. We covered them when they were initially teased to say that they were going to come out in 2020, but there are more photos or on-foot photos of the Canaries, so I think we should cover them again. Now, just quite quickly to note, these don't have a hang tag on them. Now, from what we've seen, the ones that are releasing in 2020 have a black hang tag on them. We haven't seen any photos of these yet having a hang tag on them or having the black hang tag that's associated with off-white night 2020 releases. This is not me saying it won't come out in 2020. I'm just saying we should hold off on thinking it will come out in 2020 until we at least get some more confirmation, at least get a photo of it with a black hang tag on it. As soon as it's got the black hang tag on it, I feel more confident in saying it's coming out in 2020. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. But I'm, I'm, I have faith in Hanzu Ying. Been correct before. Was correct with the uh, Yeezy 380s. Correct with a bunch of other releases as well. 
So I have faith that, that Hansel Ying's correct, but we're just gonna have to see. But let me know, guys, how do you feel about the Nike Off-White Air Rubber Dunks? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Is it just not your aesthetic? Is it just a bit too wild for you? Or are you really feeling it like I am? Do you really like these sneakers? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions, guys, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or as always, if you just scroll on down in that comment section below. And that's all I've really got to say, guys. It is a crazy release. I'm super keen to see if they actually get released in 2020. I have faith in Hanzu Ying, but I'm a little bit skeptical because I haven't seen the hang tag yet. If it has the black 2020 hang tag on it, I'll feel a little bit more confident with it releasing this year. 180 USD is the estimated retail price for it. I think it's a super sick shoe. I would love to get it, but I don't think it's going to come out in my size. So I might have to miss out like I normally do with a lot of these releases, which will be sad. But what can you do? What can you, I, can't, I can't call him up. I can't call Virgil up and be like, hey, man, dude, love your new project. Can I get it in a US 16 or 17? <laughs> I wish. I wish I could, but I ain't got his number. I ain't got his number, so... I can't do it, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll be keen just to help you guys out with the release details when we get more details, if it is coming out. But I want to know how you feel about it. Are you going to pick it up if it drops? Or are you missing out on it because you're not really feeling it? I think it's super sick. <laughs> As you've now seen, I'm super hyped about it. I super love it. And we'll just have to see if it releases, guys. But let me know all your thoughts and opinions on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or the comment section below. And if you guys want me to cover more upcoming off-white releases, more dunks, more sneaker leaks. Just give this video a fat like, get your friends to like it, tell your friends to subscribe. Let me know, let me know fellas. We're almost at 2K. You guys have been exceptional with the subs recently. I wanna say thank you so much to everyone that's been subbing recently. You, I'm feeling the love. Thank you so much fellas. Anyway, that's it. That's all we've got release details wise and photo wise for the upcoming Nike Off-White Air Rubber Dunks. So until more release details come out, until the next off-white video, until the next dunk video, until the next sneaker video, guys, I'll catch you later.